Hi, and welcome to day two of 30 Days of Prayer for Our Children. That's what I'm going to call it from now on because that's what it is. It's us together holding our children up and just coming together with a common purpose. So 30 Days of Prayer for Our Children. Um, Today's prayer for our kids is that they would know God. Now, what I mean by that is more than just believing in a supreme being, but it's discovering his character, his qualities, um, just the, the nature of the one true God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Um, and that takes an inner desire. It takes an inner uh, drive to be a God chaser. And so that's just our prayer for our kids today, that they would be God chasers, that they would be truth seekers, that they would not be content just to know who God is on the surface, but to want to know God on a deeper level. And um, so let's just focus our prayers today on asking God to make them God chasers that would just seek God with all of their hearts. And when they do that, it cultivates a love. I really believe the more we get to know God, the more we have to love him just to know more and more who he is. So, um, Knowing God is also, it's not just a one-time thing. It's not like a one-stop thing. Um, It it involves a lifetime of incremental knowing. So no matter where the child is that you're praying for on the spectrum of faith or age, this is a valid and extremely relevant prayer for them, that their desire would be to know God. And in today's society with technology and entertainment and just um, constant information overload, that can rob all of us, not just our kids. It can rob all of us of a desire to know God. It just numbs and I think dulls our senses. And so let's just pray that, that they would not be numb, that they would be open and hungry and thirsty for him. Father God, We just thank you and praise you because you want to be known. We just are humbled at the thought that you even want to know us and want us to want to know you. I just think of the scripture as the deer pants for the water. So my soul longs for you. God, let that be true for our children. Let them thirst. If they don't already know you in a personal way, Let them thirst. Let them have just a hole in their heart and in their soul, in their being that longs and thirsts for something more. And let them find you, God. Let them be a God chaser. We just pray, Lord, that that they would feel that there's something missing. God, we praise you for who you are. We thank you that even though we can never know all of you, that you have chosen to offer up tiny pieces of yourself to us. And that even that is too much for our human minds to comprehend, God, that there's enough of you that is revealed in this world and on this earth through your word that it would keep us busy for the rest of our lives. And we still would only just know a fraction of who you are, God. Thank you for your greatness, for your magnificence, and and for um, for the way that you boil things down for us. You help us to know you in small ways, like comparing yourself to a loving father as parents or grandparents or spiritual parents, we can relate to that, God. We can relate to you because you choose to reveal yourself in that way. Give our children that same ability to relate to you, to understand you, and just to want to know you more and more. If these children have not experienced a saving faith in your son, Jesus, God, draw them to yourself that their spirits would respond to that regenerating work of the gospel with faith. Father, draw them to yourself as only you can do. It's not something we can do. We can't push them toward you. We can only usher them gently into the throne room and allow them to meet you face to face for themselves. But the rest is up to you and up to them. Oh, Father, we just pray that you would draw them with an irresistible magnetism, God, that they would just have a taste of you and want more and more and more. Lord, we ask for your protection 
for incorrect understanding of who you are, that if they have damaged views of, of what a father is, that that would not get in the way of, of them understanding who you are as a father, as a perfect father. God, we just pray your protection against any kind of wrong thinking or misconceptions um, that they might have in their lives, in their understanding about you. We pray that you would write wrong thinking, that you would counter untruths with scripture, and that you would just gently reveal yourself to them in every way, God. That you would bring a balanced understanding of your mercy and your judgment and your justice and your grace in a way that's understandable. Lord, I pray for the children out there that have learning disabilities or um, just cognitively might not be able to interpret scripture um, in the way that, that typically developing kids or adults would be able to. Father, we know that you're bigger than that. We pray that you would meet them right where they are at this moment, that they would know you, whether it's knowing you from a touch from a loving parent or an act of kindness or that they would know you from a Bible story that's told in a way that they can understand. God, we just pray that you would meet them exactly where they are, that you would just help their caregivers and their parents and their teachers to express your love in a way that they can understand, that they can um, just have the wisdom to offer up that uh, information or that picture or whatever it is in a way where they can truly know you fully. God, we just thank you that you are a God. You are not a God in a box. We can't pin you down. And we just pray that you would work creatively and powerfully in the lives of our kids, that you would give us as parents and grandkids, grandparents and caregivers um, that you would give us wisdom to know how we can best shepherd our children and cultivate that passion for knowing you. In Jesus' name, amen.